I gotta get home before the snow starts. It's not gonna snow, Earl. It's 50 degrees. Oh, it's gonna snow. Trust me. I couldn't tell when my first wife was coming, but I can sure tell when the storm is coming. <laughs> All right, so what's the plan? What are we gonna do if it does snow? You're so white, I'm worried we're gonna lose you. I love the snow, opening my balcony doors and watching it fall like fresh white linen and then running across the street to the park to make snow angels. Yeah, that's snow when you're rich. <laughs> Oleg, take a picture of your junk on this customer's camera. Done. Are you gonna ask why? No need. I just saw Ole. Yeah, that might have been my fault. <laughs> kind of a shock seeing it for the first time. <laughs> it's not gonna snow. I know snow. We owned a ski chalet in Sosby, Switzerland, and I think I know more than anyone in this restaurant about living in cold climes. Snow is coming. Yo, Swiss Miss, you wanna have a conversation about cold climes with Snowleg over there? Oh, Max, I almost forgot the camera. I think you'll be very pleased. I made a little video as well. Why are you wearing two coats? Same reason I wear two condoms, in case one breaks. What the? Well, good morning, world's worst weather girl. I have never seen so much sunshine. <laughs> Did you take the weed from my bedside table? Look at me. Look at me in the eyes. Are you high? Honestly, a little. I close that and go to sleep. No, I'm still reading. Oh, look at that. I just pulled down your browser history. Interesting list. Kitten plays a keyboard. Kitten sneezes and farts at the same time. Give me that. That's private. Kitten folds a t-shirt. Oh, kitten rings a doorbell. I thought you said you weren't into pets. I'm not. It's a kitten ringing a doorbell. <laughs> He's trying to get in like people. You have a secret soft spot for animals. No, I'm just into freaky kittens. There's one who puts on a snakeskin suit and goes on a business trip. That's not soft, that is freaky. Fine, you're telling me to get a reality check about Chestnut, but you need one too. You're gonna miss him when he's gone. Max, are you listening? <laughs> Max, don't worry, I know it's all gonna work out perfectly at the stables tomorrow. I'm not worried. I f <laughs> not here yet. Damn it, turn us around, Max. We have to enter again. This is the third time. Uh, Max, come on. We borrowed these coats from Oleg to make a dramatic star entrance. If you want me to fake it again, you have to buy me dinner and call me pretty. <laughs> Fine, then help me down quickly. I don't want to be mid-dismount when the stable guy walks in. God. Oh, you just sat on my face. Like I haven't done enough for you. Ladies, I would like you all to meet my dear friend, Caroline Channing, who, in light of her recent very difficult, difficult financial troubles, has asked me to adopt her damaged pet horse, who was brought to my attention by my alcoholic servant, Max. Right over there. Caroline, thank you for coming. No. Thank you for inviting me. I'm proud of you. No, I'm proud of you. <laughs> I just got the chills again. 